I'm working on a screwdriver handle. Prashad, I think, wanted to see wood turning on the on the lathe. Well, here you go. This this is a wood turning tool. It's got a round nose on it, and uh, forgive the noise, but uh, I'm gonna take a little bit off. I'm using the threading engagement because it's for a faster movement. And then to make the finger groove here. Well, the advantage over a wood lathe is uh, I've got the tool mounted in the uh, quick change tool holder, and it, uh, it it really makes it easy to get a straight line. Uh, this wood, by the way, is a chunk cut out of an old World War II German Mauser, and you can see the thin layers of birch. Um, they they would lay up these blanks with these thin layers of birch. And bake them in an oven. The uh, the glue turned out good enough. Uh, the Germans had quite a lot of trouble with wood glue, as uh, as evidenced in their wooden airplane wings and stuff that would come apart. Uh, the U.S. had a better system for using wood and better glue, but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> this is uh, uh, this is what I have done. Now, I also could mount my uh, die grinder in, in the holder and uh, using a round burr make some grooves. And w when I do that, I put a two by a one, two, three block between the uh, jaw and the bed and I hold, hold it against that. And that gives me a three position index very easily. And that's enough to give you some grip in the uh, the handle once you put uh, a finish on it. Lately, I've been using boiled linseed oil for a finish. It's it's pretty good. It's, it soaks in and it uh, it dries overnight. Two or three coats of that, and you get a pretty nice finish. Anyways, there you go. I used the the center in a in a hole on the end of the uh, handle to keep it from wobbling around. Uh, Anyways, there you go. Have fun.